Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here today. Thank you very much for joining me. There was a large earthquake there in Peru at 6.10, 6.11 a.m. Central Daylight Time. It was a really deep earthquake, good thing, so there wasn't any damage that's being reported. A lot of people did say they felt it as far as Lima, Peru. And reports sent in to EMSE said it felt strong. 25 people sent in reports to USGS. They gave it an intensity level of 5. Which means it was felt by most people. There might have been some breakage of dishes, maybe windows and plaster. I haven't seen any reports of damage though, but there could be. And tall objects would have fallen over. Here we have the felt reports. You can see up over here towards the uh, northwest Lima. Yeah, there was a few reports there. Um, intensity level 3. And then down over here. Let's see how far south we got. Um, okay, intensity level 3. Closer to the location. We'll zoom in here. Okay. Looks like intensity level 4, intensity level 4, intensity level 4. Oh, we got one in green. What's that one? Okay, uh, intensity level 5. This was an area of subduction, and you notice we have a volcano kind of close to here. On Twitter, there is a video from August 21st. Of that volcano erupting. Yeah, look at that. Look at the ash. Pretty intense. Ubinus is considered one of the most active volcanoes in the area. And back in July, um, they declared a state of emergency. It's responsible for killing livestock and uh, landslides. It looks like the area there where the earthquake occurred, like I said, it was deep, was a thrust earthquake. Um, you can see how the one side of the fault rose up. And let me pull it up. The other side kind of moved going south. But on the moment tensor ball, let me show you for USGS. So this is what's called a moment tensor ball. You can see that the pressure from this earthquake was applied going north. And yeah, you can see the widening here. So it was a thrust earthquake. Uh, the fault line moved going northwest, it looks like. Yeah. So it is an indication that stress has built up and there could be another earthquake coming. Yeah, that fault line is locked and trying to move and it hasn't moved that much. That's why it's a thrust earthquake where one side rises up and the other side stays stationary. One report about 72 miles southeast said it was strong, uh, lots of movement, but not a lot of noise. Another report said it was long, wavy movement, and that was also southeast. 249 kilometers northwest said that the earthquake lasted a long time. Oh, here's another one that said from Lima. I'm glad I don't have to translate that. Felt live in Lima, 12th floor. Another report, now this is by Lima, um, said that it was very clearly felt. Now that was 643 kilometers northwest. So that would be almost 400 miles. Another report said short, swaying, but not strong. I'm on the 10th floor or perhaps that's why I felt it so clearly. And that was 644 kilometers northwest. So that would also be about 400 miles northwest once again. Going back to Google Earth here, you can see we got the um, subduction zone drawn out. And this is part of the Nazca plate that's subducting under South America. This red line is the South American subduction zone. Yeah. So, sending prayers. Could have a larger one coming. I hope everyone is prepared. Yeah, I'm sure they're on alert after feeling that one. They're on edge. Did you feel it or did you have family that felt it there or friends? 
Please put down information of what it felt like and how long it lasted. Things like that. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, be prepared. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.